Hi guys, you might have saw Bill's box opening for this bad boy. Um, this is the brain bug. And it was kind of difficult to build. I had to uh, start with the bottom, put the sides on, and ran some green stuff on the inside because there wasn't a lot of places where the metal actually touched at when I glued it. And I wanted to uh, give it some support. And uh, it looked kind of like this mold was about to die. This back didn't really match up very well at all. And uh, I'm missing, I don't know if you can see it there, but one of the eyeballs on the right wasn't cast. No biggie though, I can make that out of green stuff. I just didn't notice it. I'd need to do a little bit more green stuff work on this outside. Um, there's a decent seam when you put it together that you can see the lines of where you actually paint it dark anyways so I just went ahead and kind of ran caulk lines the whole way and uh, yeah you can see the box on Bill's video and you'll know what I'm talking about and I just didn't want to do an open box for something that you guys would see um, the chariot bugs actually go under it it didn't come with a base and the chariot bugs will flatten it out I'll still end up making a base for it though because I'm a little scared to pick it up and squeeze on it a whole bunch because it's empty and just by going making this back half and putting the head on that's the best I could come up with seam wise um yeah not much to say otherwise you can see the bottom I didn't worry as much about on the seams kind of just wanted to cover the voids here we have the arachnid plasma bug this kit, um, I ordered from Brookhurst Hobbies. You may have saw that also on Bill's video. This is pretty much just a response to Bill's video. Sorry, all my Games Workshop uh, devotees who are like, What's this junk? Anyways, this was uh, 19 at Brookhurst Hobbies. And it originally retailed for 40 And they had the brains for 14 98 And I've been watching those on YouTube for quite some time. And they sell between 30 and 40 bucks usually so I was already ordering the brains you can field three of these but these you can actually get a little cheaper off eBay around 15 bucks but I was already ordering so I went ahead and got this this is actually one of the more common of the kits you can find and I, in my opinion it's one of the better um, I'm sure you saw Bill's painted blue one that's pretty awesome Bill great job there you can see the instructions and the box artwork. Nice painted one on there as well. Uh, oh, Mongoose Publishing, NGP. And you can hear Stuart over there on his blog TV. Um, apologize for the glare. We've got some legs, a head, some teeth. What would appear to be more legs? Are they legs or are they arms? You know, I guess that's a good debate to have. Once again, debating what the bits are called. Here we have the uh, butt, the actual weapon. And you can see it comes in two halves. Very large halves. And uh, some armor plates. I was very glad that this is a plastic kit after putting together the wasps and the brain. Uh, anyways, there's the contents of it. Okay, so this is the Heroes of the Mobile Infantry, and this is a metal set of five miniatures, which really one's a dog. And uh, you can see basically what you get in there. That's pretty much the pose that the metal minis come in. This was only original retail 1495 which wasn't a bad deal too bad of a deal back in them days five years ago <laughs> um, you can see what you get in the box here Oop, sorry for my shadow and uh, here, let's look at the mini okay so here we have the contents of the heroes of the mobile infantry um, on the far left there you can see the he's the nuke guy uh, this game you can use basically tactical nuclear warheads in the back here we have the uh, I think he's called the SICOM SI, SI 
Con, but you know who I'm talking about, the Doogie Housers. Um, again, I apologize for the metal, but it's just hard to get the photography right and the shadows and whatnot. Okay, in the back on the right, you'll see the lieutenant, and he was the only figure I had to assemble, and that was just his arm needed glued. And on the right is the sniper, which didn't come in the uh, starter set or in the box set of uh, additional MI troopers. In the front, we have the dog, and uh, it's kind of an interesting rule that if the dog dies, the handler has to take basically a psychology check, a panic or, you know, he gets so overstruck with grief on the loss of his beloved dog that he may not be useful. Um, paid like seven fifty for this set from Brookhurst Hobbies. You guys saw the train haulic video he, he ordered from Brookhurst as well because I wanted him to get in on it. So, uh, yeah, if you're in California, you might want to check them out because they do have some good deals on some stuff. And uh, obviously the Psycom agent, let me see if I can get in here a little closer, would make a decent uh, commissar. I mean, he's not as good of quality necessarily as uh, the GW's current ones, so. But he, you know, he might find some uses for these figures in other games, and it's just much cheaper than buying name brand I guess I don't know if you can make it out or not but that's the uh, wasp unit it's just a MI guy with a special backpack the flight stand didn't want to fit into the model so these are a little jiggly for now I'm actually making a video and I can't type.